<laughs> so, in the Middle Ages, there were people who were known as alchemists, who are basically the forebears of modern chemists, and they did things that were kind of like modern chemistry. They didn't have a modern understanding of chemistry, but they were able to produce things that appeared magical. And it was important for them to do so because the only way they could make a living doing alchemy was to find a patron, like a king, someone powerful with lots of money, who would continue to support them and give them lots of money because what they would promise the king is that they could turn lead into gold or that they could produce a philosopher's stone which would give the person who possesses it uh, eternal life. I can't do either of those things, but modern chemistry still has a little bit of magic left in it and I can make 100 milliliters of water disappear. All right, so I'm going to pour the water into this cup and then make it disappear. And you can see the cup is empty, okay? So there's nothing in the cup. And I'm going to measure out the water. This is just distilled water. And, oh, I forgot my magic wand. You can't do magic without a magic wand. Yeah. All right, so we pour the water into the cup, and I will wave the magic wand over the top, abracadabra, hocus pocus, or something. I don't really believe in magic. <coughs> open sesame. And open sesame. Well, I don't want anything to be open. But, all right. So now, do you believe that I can make water disappear? Thank you. That's <laughs> Just because dude. that wasn't water. Because I have made the water disappear. It was vapor. Did you see me pour the water? Yeah. Where's the water now? Vaporizing the air. Stuck in the cup. In the air. Dude. Putty! There Whoa. it is. What? What I did was I switched cups on you, and I had another cup here that had just a little bit of some white powder called <laughs> sodium polyacrylate, which is what this is all about up here on the board. When you take um, acrylic acid and you combine it with uh, sodium acrylate, uh, you can make a polymer called sodium polyacrylate that has lots and lots of sodium ions inside it. And that makes a super absorbent polymer. Now this polymer is cross-linked, so there's lots of these chains all stuck together with lots of space inside them full of sodium ions. And those sodium ions create osmotic pressure. That osmotic pressure draws the water from outside of the polymer to the inside of the polymer. And that makes it super absorbent. This stuff can absorb up to 800 times its own mass in distilled water. If you use tap water, it's only about 300 times because it already contains dissolved ions. Anybody think of a, uh, an application for something that can absorb huge amounts of water? Sponge. Diapers. Diapers, exactly. Uh, yeah, this wouldn't work too well as a sponge because it's, it's uh, pretty fragile. But it works great in diapers. You can add it to potting soil and, and it'll hold water in the potting soil to uh, provide water over time to plants so that you don't have to water them so much. Shamwow. Uh, not exactly. Uh, it, shamwows do absorb lots of water, but this is a little bit different. It can also be used as a fuel filter because uh, if you run fuel through it, it will not absorb gasoline, but it will absorb water. So it'll make your gasoline or your jet fuel or what have you uh, dry. I have a question. Question. What happens if it floods? Can you use it? like? No, not really, because you still have all the water. But it's you still there. On it and you won't drown. Uh, yes, you wouldn't drown, but uh, well, if you got buried in this stuff, it'd be kind of like drowning. Now, the interesting thing is that you can actually reverse the process. The super absorbent polymer absorbed the water because it's full of sodium ions that pulled the water in to where the sodium was to dilute it by osmotic pressure. If I pour some sodium ions on it from the outside, from the salt, and I stir it up, and I no longer can tip this over and expect it to stay inside because I have turned it back into a liquid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Thank you.